Hello beautiful people, I'm Clarity Bay and welcome to my channel. I'm a psychic medium and I'm dedicated to answering questions that are most important to you. In this reading, I will ask Spirit to give me clear and accurate information to help you with the current situation that you are going through. I will give you everything that I get and I will not leave anything out. I also will pull from the divination bowl here and I have divination stones to even give you more accuracy. So please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button if you are new to my channel. Also, if this reading does resonate with you and inspire you, please leave a comment below. Meditate now on the four piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, three, and four. And let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful pile one, and welcome to your reading. In this reading, I am channeling energy from your spirit guides to help you with the current situation that you are dealing with. Maybe there's something that is heavy on your mind, or maybe you need an answer to a question that you have been wanting to know for a while. Pile one, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and leave a comment below if this reading does inspire you or resonate with you because I do love reading your comments. But let's get straight into your reading. You have Archangel Metatron. Now, what is a very powerful about the card that you chose is because Archangel Metatron is the number one angel. It is Archangel Metatron is the head angel of all the angels. He rules all the other angels. And Archangel Metatron is the angel that God, the creator of the universe, gave the secrets to on how the universe was created. Okay, so this energy here represents spiritual power, sacred geometry, and esoteric wisdom. So this is very interesting. As you can see, if you can see here on his shirt here, that is sacred geometry, okay? And that sacred geometry represents Archangel Metatron. So let's get more information and see what else your spirit guides have to say to you so i can clearly see that you are guided by the top of spirit guides so let's get more information here you have four of pentacles this is interesting and you have king of swords okay both representing power. So I can see that this has something to do with your finances and you're wanting information regarding your security and your stability because the four of pentacles here represents your security, represents your savings and having a solid foundation. And the king of swords energy here represents your, your power and your influence. So your spirit guides are clearly telling you that as far as your financial stability, you are going to be just fine, pile one. Definitely, you are taken care of in that area because I can clearly see here that you are naturally ambitious and you're encouraged to continue to um, be very creative. So let's get more energy here. Thank you, spirit. You have death. And you also have Mother Star. Okay. This is telling a really, really, really good story here. And it's becoming even more clear. So with the death card here, this is about some changes. Something that has to come to an ending. 
okay? There will be a new beginning for you, a transformation, and it is related to your income, okay? But there, there's definitely going to be an ending as well to a source of income that you that you currently have, but for a greater income, okay? So there's definitely going to be some changes. And with the Mother Star energy here, the Mother Star energy represents yes. So if you have a specific question that you came to this reading with, the Mother Star card here, the answer is yes. Now let me show you here. I want to show you just specifically if you can see right here, it says yes. So what if, if you had even a, a prominent question, the answer is yes. Pile one to that question as well. So let's get more energy and let's find out more. And thank you, Spirit. You have calm. So I can clearly see here that your spirit guides are telling you to relax because you have been, you know, really anxious, um, very hyper, hyper focused as well. But you're encouraged to calmly relax and um, create, be calm, because this energy here says a breakdown is often followed by a breakthrough. So remain calm. So this is strong confirmation here with the death card that came out. Um, representing um, a change for you and something coming to a completion and then also a new beginning. And you're encouraged to be calm during this process because there's change that is always happening in every single um, soul's life, every single living being. There's always consistent change. The earth is always spinning, so there's always change taking place. Let's get more energy here. Thank you, spirit. You have page of cups. Okay. And you also have king of swords. Okay. So I can clearly see here with the page of cups energy. This energy, again, is representing new work, and I just spoke about that, the first part of your reading. There's going to be a change in your career, but very a very positive change, okay, like a new promotion with the page of, 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 of um, Cups energy here. Not only new work, there's also going to be a new love interest for you as well. Okay, so with the King of Swords energy, this energy here clearly tells me that there's a supportive, um, empathetic leader that is going to be assisting you with a project that you are currently working on. Or this supportive leader will also probably be the one that offers you the opportunity um, with the with the job or with the career change as well. But this person is very supportive and um and has lots of empathy, but definitely a leadership leadership role. Let's get more energy. Thank you, Spirit. You have asked your angels. <laughs> this is so confirming here because your reading is about asking your angels, asking your spirit guides for guidance regarding your current situation. Okay, so you're encouraged to not only at this reading to always speak to your spirit guides and speak to your angels and ask for guidance because this is a strong confirmation that your reading here is giving um, a very good clarity on the situation that you are currently dealing with or going through. So let's get more information. Thank you, spirit.
you have love sensations. So this is, think about someone or something you love. Feel that love and grow it as big as you can and then hold that love in your body. What does love feel like to you? Where do you feel it in your body? Notice the subtle nuances of love. The longer you hold the sensation of love in your body, the longer they stick around. So this is definitely confirmation of a love interest. Okay. You will be connecting with this love interest pile one, no doubt, but you're encouraged to feel love because it is from our emotions that we attract. Okay. We do our thoughts do allow us to attract, but our thoughts precede our emotions and our emotions is, is, is considered the magnetic force of attraction. So let's get more energy here. Let's find out more. Thank you, spirit. Wow. You have my energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Wow. So spirit is clearly saying that um, you definitely understand and, and you definitely have knowledge about manifesting. But a spirit just wants you to be conscious of what you focus on and you are encouraged to focus on only what you desire, not what you don't want. So for example, if you do want that love interest, that soulmate, that twin flame, you're to focus on the feeling of that. You're to imagine that, okay? And you're also, as far as the career and having the perfect job and the job that um, serves you where you have fun and you make lots of money, you're to focus on that. So don't focus on lack. Do not focus on not getting a job. Focus on exactly what you want want and not what you don't want. So pile one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does inspire you and resonate with you. Please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. Um, uh, make sure you guys click that like and subscribe button and click that bell notification so that you can be notified with all of the upcoming important content that I do have to give to you. So I am sending you, Pio One, lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful Pio Two, and welcome to your reading. In this reading, I will give you spirit-guided messages regarding your current situation or even answering a question that has been heavy on your mind or just something you simply have been thinking about for a while and you want clarity on. Pile 2, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and click that bell notification so that you do not miss any important video uploads. Let's get straight into your reading. You have chosen the beautiful Saint Bridget. And Saint Bridget represents fire, growth, and passion. Okay? So some of you could have very strong fire energy in your birth chart, such as Sagittarius, uh, Leo, or Aries, okay, in your birth chart. And this could um, be in the way of a sun, moon, or rising sign, as well as a Venus sign. But this here clearly tells me that you're interested in something, in building something, in growth, something you're passionate about, okay? But you're interested in seeing it grow. So let's get more energy here and let's find out what else. Spirit, what information do you have for pile two? Thank you, Spirit. You have a judgment. Okay. Yes. Very interesting. You have four of cups. You also have ten of swords. Okay. So I can clearly see something. It's definitely coming to an ending for you. Pile two. And you also have the fool. Okay, so let's get this information here. 
Okay, so pile two. With the uh, Ten of Swords energy here, something's definitely coming to an ending. And Spirit wants you to know that there, with every ending, there is definitely a new and brighter beginning. Okay, with the Judgment card here, I can clearly see that there has been some sort of judgment energy going on within a relationship dynamic. Okay. I feel like someone has definitely uh, been judging you in some way, you know, with the Four of Cups energy. This energy here is representing delusion. So you have been quite um, cloudy with 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 cert with the way with certain situations and 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 just wanting to know which way to go. And you have been quite bored with life, to say the least. Pile two. Okay, the full energy here clearly tells me uh, that um, you have lots of desire and you definitely have lots of potential. And so, regarding this current situation, Spirit is saying just allow um, what allow what allow what is to come into your life to come, and let go what wants to go. So do you feel that energy, how easy that feels? So that is the acceptance energy here. So if someone is interested in like coming into your life and they're bringing peace, they're bringing joy, allow that person to come. And if someone is interested in leaving your life, allow that person to go because that is the natural progression of giving and receiving and letting go and allowing, okay? And I can clearly see here that um, you want uh, a relationship with someone to grow. You truly do. And I can see that there is growth within that relationship, but it's definitely going to be very slow because each party, you as well as the other person, is in a process now of just really a learning who you truly are because you don't even get the full picture of who you truly are over your lifetime. You, you are constantly evolving in life. So let's pull here from the divination bowl. You have strength, okay? So spirit is encouraging you to be strong, okay? And the strength energy is also um, clarification of the growth and the fire energy here with St. Bridget. So you're encouraged to be very strong regarding this relationship dynamic and regarding um, your your um, a job situation as well as your career because again I can see that you're feeling quite bored and you don't really know what steps to take but you're also encouraged to be very patient with yourself so let's get more energy here thank you spirit also I, I just need to mention really quick that with the four of cups energy here there's definitely going to be um, a surprise gift Someone's going to give you a beautiful surprise gift, Pio number two. So let's get more energy. Thank you, Spirit. You have the star. Yes, very beautiful for you. Pio two, very beautiful. You have Ace of Wands here. And you also have Knight of Pentacles. So this is beautiful. Definitely many blessings coming to you. In way of earthly abundance, in way of material gain. And with the star energy here, this is about a new renewal regarding your current situation. It's going to feel very new. And it's also about clarity for you as well. So that's strong confirmation in your reading. The star energy is about you gaining clarity. Thank you, Spirit. So with this energy, this energy brings even more miracles into your life here. But in order to see those miracles manifest um, even quicker than, than usual, you must have faith. And you must have faith that the, the miracles have already taken place. So whatever it is that you want, you must feel as, 
as if it's already taken place. So your emotions, like if you know that, like for example, if you want a certain income, right? Your emotions, you must already feel as if you have enough and as if you're thriving, okay? You can't feel a sense of lack and attract more. You must feel abundant to attract even more um, finances. But I definitely see um, finances and material gain in your vibrational frequency here. So with the Ace of Wands energy, this energy here is very powerful and such great um, confirmation for your reading pile too, because this represents a new project, more inspiration as well. And I can clearly see that you are wanting and, and you want that fire of that urge to create, okay? You really want it and you actually have it, but you just feel a bit bored because the outcome is not taking place fast enough for you, okay? So you're encouraged to just focus on the journey and not focus so much on the outcome. So don't focus on the who, what, when, where, or how. Focus on the creativity because I could clearly see that you do have that passion and you have that growth mindset, but you get a little bit bored when the, you don't see the results. So spirit is telling you to steadfast and stay strong because you have it, okay? You truly have it, pile two. So with the Knight of Pentacles energy here, I can clearly see um, that, again, there's a reliable person that's actually going to help you, a hardworking person as well that matches you. Then This person matches your energy, Okay, very passionate. A hardworking person is definitely going to collaborate with you on your ideas and on something that um, you have been wanting to, um, you've already got it off the ground, but you want to see it grow. Okay, and this hardworking person is coming into your life to help you, to assist you with that. So let's get more energy here. Thank you, Spirit. You have friend. This is strong confirmation for um, the Knight of Pentacles energy with the hardworking person that is coming into your life. So yes, this person is actually, you're going to create a friendship with this person, which is so beautiful. There's nothing like collaborating with someone and it feels like a friendship. It's just like, feels so fun all the time. So yes, there's a new person that's coming into your life that is going to feel like a, fr a very good friend to you, that is going to be a friend. Possibility, this is very, very strong confirmation or with your strong reading of creativity and passion and growth in your life. So it says, uh, focus your attention on what could go right. When you learn to imagine the best case scenario, you get to enjoy the experience twice. Yes, that is just what I said. That is just what Spirit gave me a few minutes ago. Yes, focus on the desired um, result that you truly want, and that is what will take place. So let's get more energy here for you, Pile 2. You have get more information. Okay, so you're encouraged to even dig a little deeper to do more research, okay? Do more research on the project that you're working on. Also, you have forgiveness. So I can clearly see here that yes, there is a blockage going on and you're encouraged to forgive someone who has, you know, who has done something to you and you know who this person is. And you're encouraged to forgive this person simply because forgiveness is a very a powerful energy that allows us to invite and to attract, to allow 
even the bigger and brighter blessings into our lives, such as love, um, true friendship, as well as financial abundance. So you're encouraged to forgive this person. And the forgiveness is not for them. The forgiveness is for you. Okay, and also with this forgiveness energy, I am getting the message that spirit is not saying that you have to invite this person over for dinner or go kick it with this person or call this person on the phone. You must simply forgive them and say that you forgive them in your heart. And you'll know when you forgive this person, because when you think of them, there is no more hurt and all you want to do is, is wish them the best. And that is how you know you have forgiven this person. So let's get more energy here for you. Pile two. Thank you, spirit. So you have love sensations. And this card says... Think about someone or something you love. Feel the love and grow it as big as you can. And then hold that love in your body. What does love feel like to you? Where do you feel it in your body? Notice the subtle nuances of love. The longer you hold the sensation of love in your body, the stronger they stick around. Okay. So with this energy, yes, Spirit is clearly saying that to be conscious of your emotions and radiate that feeling of love as much as possible because love is the highest vibration for creating and for manifesting. So Pile 2, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does inspire you and resonate with you. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and also click that bell notification so that you do not miss any important videos that I do upload. Also, leave a comment below and let me know if this video resonates with you, okay? Because I do love reading your comments. I'm sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. In this reading, I'm going to give you clear information from your spirit guides to answer the question that you have going on right now. Maybe it's something that has been weighing heavy on your mind, or maybe you just want a simple answer to something. Whatever it is, uh, this is your reading from your spirit guides. Pile 3, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and click that bell notification so you do not miss a reading that I do upload. Let's get into your reading. You have chosen Commander Ashtar. Now, Commander Ashtar represents a star seed, as well as space travel and a galactic guides. Okay, so this is clearly telling me that you, Pile 3, are very interested in like metaphysics, you know, the stars, you know, energy and, and, and things of metaphysic nature, you know, spirit guides and so forth. And this energy is so unique. Okay. But let's get more information and let's find out what messages spirit has for you. You have the star, which is quite interesting and very confirming, being that Commander Ashtar represents star seed, and you have the star, okay? Um, <laughs> this is amazing, amazing confirmation because the star represents our guiding light. Um, Commander Ashtar is galactic guide, or is a galactic guide. So this is strong confirmation, and this is about miracles and faith. An infinite energy here. Okay, so pile three. Right off the bat, I can clearly see that 
um, a spirit wants you to know that um, there is infinite um, possibilities for you regarding your current situation, but you are encouraged to have faith, okay? Because you are, um, with the star energy, there's definitely renewal and there is um, new beginnings for you and you are going to be in the spotlight, so maybe some of you are artists, um, you do something on social media, but you're very inspiring, okay? So let's get more energy here. You have six of pentacles. You have a ten of pentacles. This is very interesting. And you have a page of swords here, okay? Okay, so with the Six of Pentacles energy here, this is about you giving and receiving. It also represents your family, the Six of Pentacles, okay? So you will be receiving whatever it is you have faith in receiving. So you have a strong desire to receive something, and you wanted to know, will this take place? The answer is absolutely yes, but you want it to take place in a certain amount of time, well, that determines your faith. So the stronger your faith is, the faster it will take place. And um, contrary to popular belief, the calmer you are, the faster it would take place. So by you letting go of um, the date and the time and who, what, when, where, or how, by you letting go, uh, that's when you'll receive um, that divine gift from spirit, that miracle, okay? So with 10 of pentacles, again, this is strong confirmation here, six of pentacles and 10 of pentacles both represent the family. It also represents property and inheritance, Okay, so some of you have been purchasing property or wanting to purchase a home, and that is definitely going to happen for you, Pile 3. Congratulations, okay? Some of you also will be receiving an inheritance as well. So let's pull from your divination stones here and let's find out more. You have passion. Okay, so passion is represents your creative abilities, your creativities. And I just mentioned that some of you are into the arts, maybe singers, dancers, painters. Uh, there's so many things that are artistic, even chefs, hair, <laughs> makeup. There's so many artistic endeavors. So you're encouraged to continue with your creative um talents and to move forward in that direction because that is the connection between you and your um, prosperity and your abundance. So let's get more energy here. Thank you, Spirit. You have self-worth, self-love, okay? This says, why settle for crumbs when you deserve a whole meal? Yes, yes, yes. Pile three. I just said abundance, right? Yes. See, you deserve the best, pile three. So when you ask spirit for something, do not ask for just a slice of cake. Ask for the whole cake, okay? Because you can have whatever you focus on and whatever you put your attention to. Okay, and you're encouraged. I can clearly see here that you have been loving yourself really good. Your self-love game is just on fleek. It is so beautiful. You are glowing and you're continue. You're encouraged to continue with that self-love. Also, you have needs here. Yes, look at this. Look at her in the pool here. <laughs> Taking time out to just enjoy the nice pool. Okay, but this, this card here says, do you need more time to yourself, a break from thinking too much, a kind encounter with a friend? Your needs matter and it's time to honor them. So you are encouraged to go out, step out, go have some fun, go relax, 
Go relax. That is the key word here. Relax. Because when you relax, that is the, um, the optimum state of allowing and receiving anything is when you take that time out to relax. So let's get more energy. Thank you, spirit. You have Knight of Cups. Very interesting. This energy here is about someone very romantic coming into your life. And, and, and a Prince Charming. Someone is very charming. And I can see that this person um, will be offering a proposal to you of some sort. Okay. So that's amazing. You also have seven of cups. Wow. Strong confirmation. Very strong confirmation because the seven of cups energy here is about um, like commitment, um, commitment energies. And sometimes it could be about commitment issues. So maybe pile three, I am feeling that you do have a commitment issue here. And you do, in a way, want someone to propose to you. You want to meet that very charming person. But you have a commitment issue with the Seven of Cups energy here due to past relationships and past hurts. But you are so encouraged to let that go. Let that go. Because that relationship was a, was a teaching tool for you. That person was actually your growth partner to help you to grow to meet the person that you truly um, connect with okay so let's get more energy here let's find out more thank you spirit you have uh, there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth and that is the truth pile three. So yes, you are encouraged to continue stepping out, to continue being yourself, being your true self. And with the star energy here, um, just above this card that came out, there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. This represents the spotlight that you are placing on yourself as well. You are um, encouraged to continue being yourself. Because uh, that is what you are meant to do. You are meant to express your true self here. So let's get more energy. Thank you, Spirit. You have released. And it says, when you are upset or frustrated, holding on to negative emotion lowers your vibration. To release it, journal about your feelings. Talk to a friend or confront the problem. After you release the emotion, your vibration will be elevated. If you keep going back to the problem in your mind, you will keep lowering your vibration. Focus on what is going right instead. Remember, a release of emotion is not a low vibration. It is just a different vibration. So you are encouraged here to focus on your blessings. Focus on what is always going on right for you and you will attract more things in your life that will be going right. So pile three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does inspire you and resonate with you. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and leave a comment below. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. In this reading, I will be channeling your spirit guides to give you guidance on your question, something that is going on currently in your life, or even just something that went on in the past that you want to release, a heavy burden or something. I am just going to ask spirit to give me clarity, to give me information, and to guide me with your reading. Pile 4, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Click that bell notification so that you do not miss any important video uploads. Let's get straight into your reading. You have chosen Goddess Quan Yin. 
And Goddess Kwan Yin represents kindness, compassion, and divine mercy. So pile four, I can clearly see here that you are in a place where you want to forgive someone, but you also are in the same space of wanting to forgive yourself for even putting yourself in a situation for dealing with this person. But Spirit is clearly saying here that there is nothing you can do wrong, Pio Four, because everything that is going on in your life is supposed to take place because it is about your experience. So let's get more energy here. Spirit, thank you for that. Spirit, please give us more confirmation on Pio Four. Spirit, thank you. You have the hanged man. Okay, this is about sacrifice. I can clearly see here that you have sacrificed sacrificed yourself for someone, for a situation. You also have the Eight of Wands. Good news coming to you with the Eight of Wands energy coming out, Power Four. Good news. And also you will be traveling as well. So there's some traveling coming up for you. Let's get more energy here. You also have the King of Pentacles here. You have a Three of Cups. Okay. So with the King of Pentacles energy here, this is about a very generous and reliable person coming into your life. A visionary. Someone that will be helping you on a project or something that you are very passionate about. Okay, this person is definitely going to help you and assist you in this way. And I can clearly see that my puppy is confirming this reading. So excuse me, you guys. So with the Three of Cups energy here, this is about even more joy and abundance coming into your life. And your family circle even strengthening even more. There's also your friend circle. Lots of joy and abundance around your family and your friends. So let's get more energy. Let's find out more. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit, for piles four information here. You have risk. Yes, pile four. This says, take a chance. Every risk is a success when you're committed to learning and growth. See, this is strong confirmation, pile four, that you cannot do anything wrong. Thank you, Spirit. That is what we just said. You cannot do anything wrong. Life is a school of experience. So take a risk. So something you have been wanting to do, something maybe on social media, you have been wanting to put yourself out there, go and do it. You cannot fail. You're encouraged to take that risk right now, pile four. Let's keep going. Let's get more energy. Thank you, spirit. You have the Seven of Wands. Okay. So, this is interesting. You also have the Six of Wands. Okay. So, with the Seven of Wands energy and the Six of Wands energy, this is a very high creativity energy, fire energy, passion energy here. You guys may also have strong fire um, placements in your birth chart, such as Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, and this could be Sun, Moon, or Rising, or also Venus in these sign placements. But with the Seven of Wands energy here, this is clearly telling me that you do have your defenses up, and you are kind of like, on the on the like you you have your defenses up regarding someone or somebody and spirit is saying it's okay it's okay to protect yourself it's definitely okay to protect yourself and to keep strong healthy boundaries so with the six of wands energy i can clearly see here again this is representing victory for you in this situation that you are concerned with there is definitely a victory. There's also a word, a recognition for you and good news in regards to success with the Six of Wands energy here. So let's get more information. Thank you, Spirit, for this confirmation. Thank you, Spirit.
you have no need to worry. Just what I thought. This is what I feel for you, Pile Four. Yes, you have opportunity. See, definitely. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation for Pile Four. Pile Four, do not worry. Worry lowers your vibration. So you do the opposite of worry. What is that opposite? That opposite is faith, belief, Pile Four. So the key is belief and movement. And that's it. So if you truly believe, then what state are you in? You're in a very relaxed, calm state. And that state is the strongest state for attracting whatever it is that you want. And what you will attract is opportunity. Oh my goodness, there's another card under here. And I didn't see that at first. And there will be, there is that peaceful resolution. So there you go, pile four. It's a peaceful resolution, a peaceful outcome for the situation. Your question here. This is a very beautiful, positive reading for you, Pile 4. I hope this reading does inspire you and resonate with you. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and click that bell notification. Also, leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.